This is NeoFace, a high-tech solution to an old police problem, getting a positive ID on who committed the crime. Leicestershire Police, one of 43 local UK forces, are running a six-month trial to see how it holds up. We have CCTV footage from a shop where somebody's been caught shoplifting, for example, or officer body-worn camera. If we can get a, an image from that that's of good enough quality, the operators here will then download that image onto our search database, we'll run it, and within two seconds it will give any potential matches that are on there. A human operator is still needed to check the matches. There's the image. If I press identify, it's now going to search the 92,000 images. So it's brought back the top 200 potentials. The system doesn't discriminate between age, gender or ethnicity. Um, it's purely looking at the facial features. And this is where I can zoom in on the face and look for any distinguishing features. But all this is doing is giving the officer a potential person. But if the person isn't in the database, the system doesn't work. Which means this trial run has an overall success rate of just 44%. However, for NEC, the developers behind the software, they see other applications for NeoFace that don't have the same limitations. Another version allows employers to check and monitor their staff movements in real time, replacing ID cards. This is already in operation in NEC offices. The company claims it improves security. And for retailers, NEC says NeoFace could become a key tool for improving sales. It recognises returning customers, allowing staff to target certain products by looking at previous spending habits. And according to one firm, facial recognition technology could turn your face into a commodity worth around $6.5 billion by 2018. But following the recent scandals in mass surveillance, how the public reacts may change how the technology affects our lives in the future.